Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God the glory. Let God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory above Father. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please find me like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a very, very deep word. And this concerns specifically young men and young women. You know, young men and young women who are trying to find life, you know, trying their best trying their best when i hear this word i hear nation from this particular nation it is already happened and it is spreading so fast it is spreading so fast there is a satanic agenda you know satanic agenda to make the children of god live a sad life you understand where they are just like unhappy feeling depressed and finding it difficult to even rest, you know. There is an agenda. And when I hear this word, this is deep. I pray the Lord give us understanding. You understand? I, I will also be praying in this particular message. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I pray the Lord will help us to finish well in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, there is this agenda of hell. To cause panicking. You know, when people are panicking, it causes pain. When people are panicking, it causes sickness. When people are panicking, it causes sleepless nights. So this is the agenda of hell. When those that are not serving God have triggered some kind of panicking, then the people of God will not be the one panicking. They, they themselves will go to sleep because they are the ones that always fire all that arrow. The enemies are the ones that always fire that arrow of panicking, of pain, of war, of different things, of sickness. You see, when the things start happening, the children of God, some of them who don't even understand what is going on, will not start panicking. There is an agenda of the enemy to cause the young men, young women who are fighting for life to start panicking. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is an agenda of Satan. To cause depression, to cause confusion, to cause isolation, to cause unnecessary panicking. And we are not going to allow it to stand. Child of God, you are the church. The panic of the enemy that they want to release, it will not stand. That thing that they want to cause that will make us to be so nervous. To be so nervous and we forget to eat our bread, forget to drink our water. It will not stand. Hallelujah. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. There is an agenda of hell. There is an agenda of hell to cause young men and young women to lead them into dangerous isolation that leads to depression and people start killing themselves. It is not going to happen because God did not create his people to kill themselves. God did not create us to start killing ourselves. There are people who no longer want to be alive. They are just like, I want to end it all. And these are Christians. These are people who study the world. These are the people who know God. What is going on? What is going on is that the enemy is, using, is trying to use a trick. That trick of depression, unsatisfaction, confusion. Someone is walking here. She is no longer enjoying the work that they work. And you look at it and it is normal. No. When you look at every situation that is going on right now, you will see that almost every Christian are expressing similar case, similar case, similar attack, sleeplessness, worrying, panicking. The Bible says, cast up your cares upon the Lord he cares for you. This is to tell you that if you are finding yourself in that situation of unnecessary panicking, confusion, depression, you need to understand that the devil is acting somewhere. The devil is walking against your life somewhere. 
and you have to cast all your care before the Lord. Why and tell yourself the Lord care for me? I refuse to be panicking. I refuse to be depressed. I refuse to be isolated. I am a soldier for the Lord. I am an army of God's kingdom. I am going out there to rescue as many of my brothers, as many of my sisters that the enemy will put in this agenda of depression. I am an army of God. I am sent to deliver souls. I am not sent to be crippled by fear. Hallelujah. Speak the word. The Bible said, decree it and it shall be established in heaven. It says, stand upon the word. It shall be done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The gates of hell cannot prevail. There is a dangerous satanic agenda to cause people into isolation where they no longer even enjoy their own food and drink their own water in peace. Everything is in sorrow. Everything is in sadness. It is an error for us to carry grace and we live a life of sadness and sorrow. Hallelujah. The Bible says he has given us peace. In him we have peace. We know we are living in a world of darkness. A world that is full of darkness. We know that. We are not ignorant of these things. We know that. But greater is he. The Bible says we should not be afraid. It says fear not little children. For you have overcome the world. For greater is he that is in you. Child of God. I don't know if I'm speaking to you. Because that isolation cannot enter your home. And settle there. That depression cannot settle there. That confusion cannot settle there. You have to tell the devil, devil, not today. Get behind me, Satan, because upon me, the Lord built his church and the gates of hell. He cannot prevail. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 16, in verse 18, the Bible says, And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, upon you, upon you, Peter, upon you, ah, upon this rock, God is speaking to somebody and he's saying to you, upon you, that he's building his church, he's building his word, he's building everything that he needs to build on this earth. And the gates of depression cannot prevail, the gates of confusion cannot prevail, the gates of isolation cannot prevail in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister. Evangelist Sarah, by the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.